Hi, everybody! Happy Thanksgiving! This is the day before Thanksgiving 2020. Um, we have things to be thankful for. Uh, I guess it's been a rough year for us all, and hopefully the coming year will be a lot easier and brighter for us. At least that's what I'm hoping. And here, I wanted to put my lights on so that you can see my lights. <laughs> Ooh, I guess that won't stay. So, um, yeah, it's been a rough year, but thank goodness, I mean, so far, uh, none of us have had the COVID, although we've had a lot of other things go on that my daughter had a serious complication here. She once had, she had, a, has an aneurysm, but it did, uh, when she gave birth to her first child, that's when she, this aneurysm appeared. Now, what they did, I don't know, but, uh, she has issues and it's it's scary and my youngest daughter is getting through her classes uh this semester which was very difficult and challenging <clears throat> for uh her but uh, we, we're almost done with this semester and um things are just moving along so hopefully things will stay good my grandkids are doing fine uh, my son-in-law did find a job which he lost due to the COVID, and uh, he found another job, and um, so far so good, at least he's got a job, and uh, we've just been one day at a time, that's just basically what we've been doing. Now, I decided to pre-record this because I, I have issues with doing lives, but I try to do them. Um, and I'm going to try to do more in the upcoming year, um, maybe a few times a week if I can, because I actually um, put my resignation in uh, for the hair salon where I'm working now uh, and took another job that is uh, very exciting, actually. I am looking forward to it. Um, it's, it's, it's a workshop, and I'll be teaching and uh, it's it's art. It has to do with art. And I'll tell you more as I find out more. So my last day is December 1st. And I'm looking forward to starting a new career. Nah, well, part-time anyways. So uh, let's, without further haste, let's get started here. So uh, out on my palette, I have this uh, Raw Sienna, which is a deco art paint. I have the um, Cadmium Light Red. I have some Alizarian Crimson, which is a Utrecht paint, and I love their paints. Uh, I had gotten these years ago, well, not years, but a few years back when I was taking an art class, uh, a credited art class, because I was trying to get my... Um, minor in art which I think I finally finished because I took several classes I only needed one more class to have that that art cl um, as a minor and uh, I have white on my titanium white so with that further haste let's get started and I'm going to start out here I'm going to use a a uh, number 14 um, I hope everybody's going to have a nice Thanksgiving, too. Uh, that's tomorrow, so I'm doing this the day before Thanksgiving, but might not get it on to uh, YouTube right away. So I've been, like, struggling with my um, lives. Uh, it's very difficult sometimes when I do the live, I guess. A lot of people might be still working, or they are working, and uh, kind of... Don't get many people tuning in. So I think what I'm going to do next year, starting next year, I've got several things I'm going to be doing. The first thing, um, I am going to try to do a few lives a week. Lots of painting. Maybe some journaling. Um, not sure yet. Uh, I'm giving it some thought. I am also, for my patrons on Patreon, um, for different levels, I'm going to start doing some different things. Uh, you'll either get a sticker, stickers, or a, a, um, a print of some of my artwork. 
and I thought this would be really exciting for people uh, to have some of my prints because uh, some of my artwork that we do here is a little bit more detailed than you know um, now this is the Alizarian Crimson that I'm putting on here right now uh, giving it a little bit of depth here and when I put this on it's kind of dry brushing it I'm just kind of blending it over and this is a heavy body so you get a little bit of depth and you noticed I put some of that red on first so it would blend I'm going to go back to that red a little bit and I'm going to add a little white into that red make just a little bit of a highlight down the middle here. Maybe have it come over this away some. Just a tad of a highlight. I'm going to put more of that red out on my palette because I just put a little dab. I'm not sure how much I was going to use because I waste too much paint. Now I'm supposed because I'm not doing a live, I can't uh, show you what's on my palette. That's the only problem with doing a lot uh, with doing this this way. I just took the highlight out, but that's all right. We'll get that back in there. Going back to my Alizarian. It's just a little light building up here of color. So I guess, you know, this year has been difficult for all of us. It's, I can't wait till next year. <laughs> it's been such, such a time. Um, with the things that are going on in this world with all the COVID and um, different things, it's just, it's just been really stressful. So I'm just looking forward to this uh my daughter, my oldest daughter, had had some health issues. Thank goodness they weren't related to COVID, but it's still serious. And um, my youngest daughter just getting through her semester at Pitt. And that's been a real trying time for her. She gets too stressed out. She has anxiety for um, school. And... I mean, I loved school, I guess, well, at first, you know, like when you first start, how you get anxious about things, trying to get things done, you get overwhelmed, you don't know if you're going to get it out, get out, you know, everything or how it's going to be, and, uh, I mean, she gets through it, she just gets shook up, oops, put that there, let's see, Get a little water and try to remove that. Yeah, we can also use a wipe, but I thought that would be better. Yeah, so I gotta stop here because as I'm building this up, it's starting to pull off and I don't want that to happen. So we're just gonna let that dry for a little bit. One of the things with acrylic, maybe because this is an older paint, it uh, pulls off. Let's see here. I want to get a little bit here where his little arms are. Just kind of pull a little bit here. And uh, I'm going to go to a smaller brush. <clears throat> this is my little detail brush here. Okay, just to get those little areas here. Kind of get some shadow underneath his beard. I'm using the Alizarian. I'm going to grab a little wet here. 
so I can blend it somewhat in here. I don't want to cover up his beard. So you can wipe it off before it dries just to, there we go. Get some more under here. And we're going to work on this, uh, bottom part here. Yeah, so it's been a it's been kind of an interesting year. I don't think it was an exciting year because there's so many people that are suffering. Um, yesterday I was watching television and there was a doctor who had talked about a patient who had the COVID and they were trying to um, get in touch with her family and it turned out that all her family had died from the COVID. They couldn't reach anyone. And uh, she was in tears and I just, I mean, it was just so so sad these people are just it's sad it's just horrible that her whole family died from COVID <clears throat> hopefully that vaccine will be out soon I'm just hoping so okay, I want to put a little bit more of this red the cad red or light in here. Kind of over this. Just blend it. See when you keep blending it and just putting like a glaze over it, it just blends it real nice. And that's what we're looking for. My smaller brush again now I'm going into my white and I'm going to start working on his beard so into the white and that's titanium white uh, we're just gonna kind of get some white in here And I said I was going to go into the snow globe, but I guess I lied. <laughs> so. Now when I, um, what I plan on doing is using some uh, acrylic markers to get this. Some lines in through here. I noticed, okay, I'm going to have to put some uh, Payne's Gray out. So, yes, my hand is feeling better. It's uh, still sore and swollen, as you can, well, I don't know if you can see that, but it's still not quite right. But uh, thank goodness it's starting to feel better. That's the important part there, that we are feeling better with that. Just going to outline some of this. Just, just some, not all of it. I just want to kind of separate some of these things that give it a little texture. So, if I'm a little quiet right now, that's because I'm concentrating here. Just trying to get a little texture in through these areas that are shaded.
awesome. <clears throat> okay, back to the white. I'm just using this smaller brush because of the details here. Um, I feel more comfortable with that. And I will put more uh, white in here. Like I said, I'm going to use a Posca pen maybe to get that lightness back into it. Oops. Too much paint. Get this little snowball up here. Let me get that painted. This little ball here. And I'm going to get a little bit of the paint's gray just to give it a little bit of a Fading underneath here. And then I'm just going to pull it just lightly here. Go into some of the white. <clears throat> just kind of. There we go. Nicely shaded. He is so adorable. He is just so cute. Okay, now I want to put a little bit of um, highlight on his nose there. Just kind of put a little dab of white. All right, let's go into um, this here. Now, uh, it is a little rounded, but I just, you know what, I don't even want this one here to tell you the truth. I just kind of want to round this up a little bit. Um, I think it needs a little rounding. Okay, let's see. Let me see what brush here. Might as well use that brush that I was using before with the red, which was a number 14 bright. Spray, I'm going to spray a little bit of that water into the paint. <clears throat> kind of make it a little transparent. So I'm just using the edge of my brush, kind of just rounding it up a little bit. Now down here, we got to use a full color without being watered down because that's going to be tough to cover. So we're going to have to probably make a few little changes there. And here, this is a tough one here. Okay, so. Um, it comes out like like this, just like that. Comes down like this, and I think when I rounded this, I may have rounded it too far out. So we're just gonna make it round like that. And I'm gonna get a little bit of my raw umber. Or like burnt sienna, burnt umber. I'm sorry, burnt umber. And I mix it with some of this um, 
raw sienna kind of just making it a little bit so that when I do this here I can get a nice shadow over here and just move it out unfortunately I cut that off a little too much but I hate when things don't equal up don't you and it's sometimes hard to get that right but maybe that'll do right there that'll work just keep painting this so it gets straight I'm wondering if my heavy body will work better on this because it just Couple little tweaks for this. Let's see. I have a raw sienna and a heavy body, thick body acrylic from Master's Touch. I'm going to try that because I think I need something a little bit heavier than that um, deco art. a thick body is just exactly what you need so this is going to slant right here this is going to come around and it has like a roundedness to it also so we want to get that roundness in give me a little white here bit more highlight and it's a little darker over here so we'll get that fixed up also uh, let's see here okay let's just get this a little bit more also to shape up a bit, isn't it? Okay, and this here, that's the way that goes, but this is the one that's like really looking weird here. But once I put some dark in there, I think it'll be okay. Grab a little bit of the white. Okay, right in here. This here has to be lighter. And this has to be lighter. <clears throat> but this is just plain, plain, plain. Okay. Now let me get my little teeny brush again. Going back into some of the white and right about, I don't like the way this is here. Let me get some more of this here. Makes a big difference. I'm 
I'm going to wet my umber. Just gonna come down if I can here with this. Okay, it has to go around this. Okay. Like that. Same here. Get that. Okay, we're going to put a little bit more in there too because it just took up more white than it should have. Okay. Now, right where that all is. We gotta highlight. We gotta highlight some of this. So I'm going into my white. And right here, let's see. Right in here, there's a little bit of white. Just tapping it in. And then right here, right along that edge. And right in here it's a little bit more okay now the same over here we have this light coming in here and that helps to blend that a little with a touch right here another coat right in here blend it okay let's put some light right in here it's very light some light right in here just kind of dry brushing this a bit and right in here let's see if we can get this because it is rounded this is rounded so well let's see here we'll put some right in here also now we're gonna round this out a little and um, <clears throat> I'm going to put some more of this around here. Kind of just getting that out. We can put more of the dark in there. But I'm noticing that this ball has a roundness in this bat bottom part here. So, you gotta get that in there. Gotta get that round in there. Oops. It doesn't have to be overly exaggerated, but <clears throat> like I'm doing here. <laughs> Just uh, trying to get all that dark shade out of there and then we can manage the rest. There we go. Now it's starting to look better. And we'll fix this. We'll put some darks in there too. For the table. So what I'm planning on doing here is grabbing some of that umber 
and just see if I can get this a little more rounded. Oops. Okay. So I'm just using the edge of my brush and just making it a little rounded. Blending it, and then I'm going to come in with my raw sienna or yeah, burnt sienna. What is it? Raw sienna, my raw sienna from uh, Hobby Lobby. Kind of just get this in here rounded. Just have that faintness there which I think will work very well. And then here, it's kind of faintly move that a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna just get a little depth in this yet. I still want some depth. I'm gonna mix some of the raw and the burnt uh, sienna together just kind of making a nice soft brown because there is a little bit here just a touch from here to here we want that to kind of look like a um, like there's something there you know that So you always put dark and light together kind of to bring it out. You want to bring it out and uh, I think this is coming along now. Kind of just, and then I'm just going to go over this white a little bit so it's not so stark white. And I'm just going over it lightly. Okay, just very lightly. Okay, oh, he's looking so sweet. I just love him. He is adorable. Okay, so now we got this. I want to um, kind of go around this a little bit too with some dark brown. Let me wash out my little shader brush. Get in there with the, kind of just outline this a bit, not too much though. Just to show that that is the edge of it. Kind of come back in here. Just kind of bring it in so it doesn't have that harsh line. Okay. All right. Okay, let me get some more of this here and just kind of go underneath here, maybe a little darker, just to kind of shade it. Just a little bit. Okay, good. All right, and I want to go over this here because there is a line there that you might not be able to see. I don't know if you can see it on the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I've been coughing all morning. I guess I had some allergy things going on. <laughs> there. And this here. Yeah. It's been a, like, crazy time. I... But anyways, let's hope Christmas and the New Year brings us a little bit of happiness.
Okay, so let me get my little pasta pen. I don't think I have one out. Oh, I do have one out. Let's see if it's going to work. I don't know if it'll work. So I'm going to just put some lines in here that are like, that show his beard. Well, that might not be too good. It's like coming out gray. I think maybe, well, now we have something here. I might need a new pen. Because if I press too hard... Well, let's see here something here. I'm going to hold on a minute. Well, here's a new one, I think. This is maybe too thick, though. We'll see how this works. I'll just go lightly with it. Just uh, go lightly. But it does show up so much better than it is, and it's easier... Instead of putting all these in by hand, you can just use this. And it, it's acrylic paint. And a Posca pen is awesome. Now, I don't get anything for that. I mean, I'm still not sponsored by anyone. Um, but anyways... Um, yeah, so I'm trying, like, the first of the year, I'm going to start making some stickers for my patrons. Um, and I will uh, change my Patreon page a little bit uh, to reflect what you get if you support me. Um... Look at how cute. Oh my goodness, is he adorable. Just adorable. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so anyways, um, now we're going to add some snow. And I want to add a little, like, lightness around here. So it's going to be a dry brush. And... Also, I got to put some um, texture in the table here. So, I hope you all remember what I did last time. I used my uh, rake brush, and this is a Royal and Lang Nickel brush. It's um, half inch. So, let's get this filled up and see what we can do here. Get some lines in the table. Some texture in there. Wood grain. Okay. That's that out. Okay, so we got that. And we got the this beautifully turned out beautifully um, so I'm going to get a dry brush very dry uh, and I'm going to use some white and this is like um, this is my 14 bright again I'm going to move it back and forth so I don't want to put a lot on here but I do just lightly want to go around here so it looks like it's glass. And you can use your finger to blend. But what you want to do is leave that dark line right there. Notice there's some red in here too. If it gets too harsh, you just use your finger. 
and wipe it out. Now I'm going to put a little bit of white here too. Okay. Uh, I'm going into my red because I want to kind of like do another glazing off over the hat here. Just want to get that nice and smooth. I think because I've had that pink for so long, it kind of doesn't smooth very well. Now I'm going to go back into that uh, Alzarian. Kind of just do the thing again. Just to kind of smooth that out a little. He's so cute. Okay, I'm going to put some more of that um, Alizarian out. I'm going to use a little water to thin it down some. Because that is truly a heavy body acrylic. Very heavy. Okay. All right. And just glaze it over again. Kind of get some dark, more dark in here. Some right in here too. Just a tap and then just with my finger. Just so it makes it look a little more round. Okay, now with his his uh little costume here or his little cute little outfit. I want to put some more red in. Right, right as we go into this, just kind of like, just a little, let me get my wipes. I don't need red snow. <laughs> no red snow today. Okay, and uh, I'm going to get some more of my, well, I'm going <coughs> to cobalt teal. Um, I'm going to put that into my, ooh, that came out a little fast. And that's a uh, Deco Art Premium paint. I'm going to make a little bit of snow, light snow here. And I think I want just a tad of this cobalt blue out so I can fix that red spot up there. I'm going to get my big brush for that. this will be the same. If it's not, we'll just, uh, what we can do is make this like a little, like piece of, well, that's a little, little bit too light. We have to put a highlight in the glass because this is a glass globe. We can do that. Right where that highlight is, we're going to go over that a little bit too. Just kind of 
giving this ball a little bit of glow here. All right, so now we'll, well, I wanted to get this snow a little bit bluish. So I'm going to get my white and what's on my brush. Kind of just give it that little bit of blue underneath him. Get some of that red out of there. Just going in straight white, just kind of making some poofy things to make it look like snow in there. All right, so now we're going to add some snow, and I'm going to get my Posca pen, and I'm just going to dot here and there. This is snow. Some might be a little bit bigger than others. And it's actually going to go over his hat also because this is snow. And uh, we're just going to add some little snowflakes. Lots and lots of snowflakes. It's going to go over him, too, because I'm going to put some highlights in his eyes. Dot, dot. Okay. And then when these dry, I'll put another highlight in here. Sometimes snowflakes are together. Oh, he, I think this turned out so cute. Put a couple snowflakes together. Well, you gotta have some on his beard. Let's make a big one. A couple of big ones here. They don't have to be all small. Oops. Certainly don't need a funny looking thing. Must have picked up the blue on that one. Okay, let's get one here. Just a few bigger ones. Now sometimes like how you see something that it kind of looks like it's not what you want. Um, and then all of a sudden it just starts to go together and it just works uh, you know like here I was a little concerned I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out and I was worried <laughs> and I I tend to do that sometimes I worry about what I'm doing here because I want it to be nice for you guys and it turned out just beautifully just beautifully and I'm very happy with it so I'm going to sign this, and um, maybe I'll just sign it with the, I don't know what to sign it with. I think I have a blue pen somewhere. Let's see. A nice blue pen. Let me see behind the curtain. Well, I do not have something blue. Let's see. I do have one. These things are so big. I don't think that they... I hate big, big. So 
So I think I'm just going to sign it with my black Posca pen. See how that turns out here. Uh, usually when you sign it, it means it's finished. How's that? Well, guys, uh, I hope you have a really nice Thanksgiving. Hope I get this up before Thanksgiving, but I doubt it since today's Wednesday. And, oh, you know what? i got to put some highlights in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use that uh, number 14 again. And I'm going to just grab my white on here. And just, I hope I don't screw up these little... Let's see. I think the light here is over this way, so I'm going to put the <coughs> just a little. So I'm just doing this very lightly. This kind of makes it look more realistic. Perfect. So there's our snow globe. All finished. He's adorable. I love these little guys. Little gnomes. And um hope you enjoyed this lesson so please give me a thumbs up if you like this and make a comment and I will have the uh, pattern up on patreon uh, where you can um, get the pattern for one dollar uh, which isn't too bad um, and you can paint your own little gnome for Christmas so uh, have a good Thanksgiving now and bye